Hi, I'm George from Avon Wildlife Trust. Thank you so much for taking part in this year's Bulbtober event. An event where we're trying to get as many people as possible to plant bulbs and wildflowers throughout October. And this is a really important event because unfortunately we now know that over 40% of insects face extinction. So by planting these bulbs and wildflowers, you're providing a food source and a habitat for these endangered insects. It's also really important for us as well as over 70% of the food that we eat relies on insect pollination. In your packs from Avon Wildlife Trust, you'll be receiving some crocus bulbs, which are really good because they flower nice and early in spring, about February and March, providing an early food source for insects. And you've also got some wildflowers grown right here at Grow Wilder. And these native species of wildflower are really good for our local wildlife. I'm going to show you how to plant your wildflowers that you've been given for this Bulbtober and give you some tips along the way to make sure those plants take really well to the soil and grow nice and big and healthy. Today I'm going to be planting a yarrow plant and I'm going to be planting it just in the edge of one of our gardens here at Grow Wilder. So tip number one is how to get your wildflower out of its pot. You don't want to pull it up from the leaves and damage it, so just turn it upside down, give it a little squeeze on the bottom and out it will pop, just like that. Next up, I'm going to dig my hole and today I'm going to use a little trowel but you can use whatever you've got, so you could even use a spoon or if you're feeling adventurous, maybe even your hands. So, I'm going to dig my little hole for my yarrow and you want to make sure that your hole is deep enough so that the yarrow actually sits fully in the soil. You don't want it sticking up out of the top. Another tip is when you dig your hole, just loosen up the soil at the bottom and this will allow the roots to spread out once you've planted it. Before I plant my arrow, what I'm going to do is make sure it starts off nice and wet and just give it a little dunk in a bucket of water just over here. Perfect. And I'm going to plant it in just like that. And then tuck, tuck your plant in with the soil that you've dug out. Give it a good squeeze, make sure it's nice and cosy. And done. As it's Bulbtober, I'm going to be showing you how to plant the bulbs that you've received from Avon Wildlife Trust. And you're going to be planting some smaller crocus bulbs, but I'm going to be showing you today with this large elephant garlic bulb. And first up is you're going to have to pick somewhere to plant your bulbs and crocuses do like a nice sunny spot in the garden. So see if you can find somewhere that gets a lot of sun. So first up is you're gonna need to dig your hole. And you need to have quite a dig hole. You need to have it three times as deep as the size of your bulb. So I'll get going. There we go, I've dug my hole. And now I need to find out which way to plant my bulb. And the tip is, you want the pointy end of your bulb pointing up towards the sky. So I'm going to plant it in just like this. And then fill it in. And there you go. Thank you for getting involved with this year's Bulbtober event and we're really sorry that we can't be with you in person to help you do your planting of your bulbs and your wildflowers but we would love to hear your stories and see some of the photos that you've taken on the day so please do share those with us and if you want to know more visit the Wildlife Trust website and search the campaign Action for Insects or if you want to get involved please get in touch with us at ourbrightfuture at avonwildlifetrust.org.uk Thank you.